Situated in a geopolitically volatile region, Israel grapples with the constant threat of conflict as it finds itself surrounded by hostile neighbors, each potentially capable of launching a missile and openly opposing its existence. The proximity to these adversaries has made Israel particularly vulnerable, creating an ongoing risk of missile attacks. In response to this imminent danger, the nation has strategically invested in cutting-edge defense technology, resulting in the development of a state-of-the-art defense shield. This powerful anti-missile system operates tirelessly, around the clock, effectively countering high-speed missiles. The state-of-the-art defense shield not only safeguards Israel's skies, but also serves as a testament to the nation's commitment to technological advancement. This sophisticated system is a critical component of Israel's national security strategy, providing a robust line of defense against potential missile threats. The 1967 Six-Day War Since its declaration of independence in 1948, Israel has navigated a complex landscape of conflicts, employing a diverse array of weapons to safeguard its borders. In the initial 1948 Arab-Israeli War, Israel relied on surplus World War II-era arms, predominantly small arms, mortars, and basic armored vehicles. The 1956 Suez Crisis marked a strategic shift, with Israel, along with France and the UK, initiating a campaign against Egypt that showcased the Israeli Air Force's strength operating various aircraft. Key to Israel's ground forces were British-made Centurion tanks. The pivotal 1967 Six-Day War witnessed Israel's victory, partially credited to the French Mirage III fighter jets securing air superiority. The conflict also featured the use of Soviet-made T-54 and T-55 tanks. The 1973 Yom Kippur War introduced advanced weaponry, including American-supplied fighter aircraft, underscoring the importance of anti-tank missiles, notably the Soviet RPG-7 rockets in the hands of Arab forces. Fast forward to the 1990s, a tumultuous period when Hezbollah, based in Lebanon, launched rockets into northern Israeli population centers, presenting an acute and unexpected security challenge for the Israel Defense Forces. The continuous threat from these rocket attacks prompted Israeli authorities to contemplate the development of a short-range anti-missile system. However, as discussions unfolded, U.S. defense officials voiced valid concerns, emphasizing that creating a formidable anti-missile defense system was no small feat, raising questions about budget constraints and the substantial resources it would necessitate. The Birth of Iron Dome the inception of the Iron Dome marked a significant chapter in Israel's commitment to national security. The Ministry of Defense embarked on an extensive journey of research and development, characterized by tireless dedication and collaboration among experts. This effort resulted in the creation of the groundbreaking Iron Dome Defense System, a testament to Israel's unwavering dedication to safeguarding its citizens and its capacity for innovation and adaptability in the face of evolving security threats. The momentum for the Iron Dome project gained traction in 2004 when Brigadier General Daniel Gold assumed leadership of the Research and Development Division of the Israel Defense Forces. Gold a staunch advocate for the anti-missile project, went to great lengths, including circumventing army procurement regulations to secure funding. He played a pivotal role in garnering political support for the initiative. The urgency for such a system became apparent during the 2006 Second Lebanon War, when approximately 4,000 rockets fired by Hezbollah struck northern Israel, causing casualties and compelling hundreds of thousands of Israelis to evacuate. The Iron Dome was identified as Israel's defense solution against the short-range rocket threat. Since Defense Minister Amir Peretz's decision in February 2007, the two $10 million system has been developed through the collaborative efforts of Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and the IDF. 
This advanced defense mechanism has proven instrumental in protecting Israeli citizens, showcasing the nation's commitment to proactive security measures and technological prowess in the face of persistent security challenges. Rafael Advanced Defense Systems The Iron Dome, a remarkable creation of Israel's defense industry, Rafael Advanced Defense Systems stands as a sophisticated system engineered to detect and eliminate a range of aerial threats, including short-range rockets, artillery shells, and ballistic missiles. Since its initial deployment, the Iron Dome has gained renown for its exceptional success in intercepting incoming threats, effectively protecting Israeli civilians and vital military assets from the perils of rocket and missile attacks. The primary mission of the Iron Dome is to swiftly intercept and neutralize immediate threats posed by short-range projectiles, typically consisting of rockets and 155mm artillery shells with a range of up to 70 kilometers, equivalent to approximately 43 miles. What sets the Iron Dome apart is its unwavering operational effectiveness under various conditions, including day or night, adverse weather, and the simultaneous presence of multiple threats. This adaptability and reliability underscore its significance in the field of missile defense, especially in safeguarding Israeli territories and their inhabitants. At its core is the detection and tracking radar, a fundamental component acting as the system's vigilant eye. Developed collaboratively by ELTA, an Israeli defense company and subsidiary of Israel Aerospace Industries and the Israel Defense Forces, this radar system plays a crucial role in detecting the launch of incoming threats and continuously tracking their flight paths, providing precise data for the Iron Dome's interception calculations. The Battle Management and Weapon Control Center, BMC, serve as the strategic nerve center of the Iron Dome, crafted through the collaborative efforts of Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and an Israeli software company. This command hub orchestrates the system's every move, processing data received from the radar to meticulously evaluate the trajectory of identified threats. It is within the BMC that the precise moment for a missile launch is determined based on the imminent threat's trajectory. The BMC functions as the operational brain behind the system's rapid, precise, and highly effective defense mechanism, showcasing the intricate and advanced technology driving the Iron Dome's success in protecting against aerial threats. Tamir Missile The critical component completing the Iron Dome's defense architecture is the missile firing unit, playing a pivotal role in intercepting incoming threats. Its primary responsibility lies in launching the Tamir Interceptor Missile, a precision-engineered projectile by Rafael, featuring advanced electro-optic sensors and multiple steering fins for exceptional maneuverability. Within each Iron Dome battery, three to four launchers house up to 20 interceptor missiles, showcasing the system's impressive capability to manage multiple engagements simultaneously and underscoring its significance in missile defense. The effectiveness of the Iron Dome is seamlessly woven into its operational process, highlighting the harmonious integration of technology and coordination. The system's radar, the ELM-28-4, stands as the ever-watchful sentinel in the skies, continuously scanning the airspace to detect the launch of incoming threats and capturing crucial initial trajectory data essential for precise interception calculations. The Battle Management and Weapon Control Center then come into play, meticulously evaluating the identified threat's trajectory, serving as a crucial checkpoint to determine its legitimacy and potential risk to a designated area. The Iron Dome triggers the launch of interceptor missiles only upon confirming a legitimate threat. In response to a confirmed threat, the system promptly springs into action, swiftly launching an interceptor missile to neutralize the incoming threat before it reaches its predicted impact area. The Tamir missile's remarkable maneuverability ensures precise interception, enhancing the system's overall effectiveness. What sets the Iron Dome apart from traditional air defense missile systems 
is its innovative deployment pattern. Unlike centralized systems, the Iron Dome deploys in a decentralized manner, with each launcher operating autonomously and remotely managed through a secure wireless connection. This decentralized configuration provides enhanced flexibility and adaptability, making the Iron Dome exceptionally responsive to evolving threat scenarios. Reports indicate that each Iron Dome battery can protect an urban area spanning approximately 150 square kilometers, underscoring its impressive coverage capacity. This decentralized approach aligns perfectly with the Iron Dome's core objective of delivering comprehensive and effective protection against various evolving aerial threats. Israel's Laser Revolution on October 7, 2023, Israel faced a significant missile attack orchestrated by the Gaza-based Palestinian militant group Hamas. The group launched several thousand missiles at various targets across Israel, with over 3,000 rockets successfully penetrating Israeli defense systems and resulting in an estimated 1,300 casualties. In response to this large-scale attack, Israel swiftly initiated a counteroffensive and formally declared war against Hamas the following day. As part of its strategic response, Israel decided to introduce its new advanced laser defense system into the ongoing conflict. Israel's venture into laser weaponry began in the mid-1970s when military specialists recognized the potential of lasers to enhance defense capabilities. Collaborating with key Israeli defense firms like Israel Aerospace Industries and Rafael, they focused on understanding the fundamental principles of laser weaponry. Despite limited resources and a basic understanding of lasers at the time, early achievements included the successful testing of the first gas dynamic laser in 1976, producing approximately 10 kW of power. The 1982 Lebanon War marked a turning point introducing precision-guided munitions and signaling a shift toward more advanced weaponry. In the mid-1990s, Israel initiated a second major venture into laser weaponry, collaborating with the U.S. on a combat laser system project. This project aimed to create a close-zone missile defense laser system based on chemical laser technology, projected to generate up to 2 megawatts of power. In 2014, Raphael unveiled the Iron Beam, officially known as Karen Barzal in Hebrew, representing an innovative directed energy weapon air defense system. Its primary mission is to intercept and neutralize short-range threats, including rockets, artillery, and mortar shells, with an operational range of up to 7 kilometers. The Iron Beam complements the Iron Dome, specializing in intercepting missiles from greater distances, and employs a fiber laser to create a directed energy beam. The advantages of directed energy weapons like the Iron Beam include cost efficiency, continuous firing ability, reduced operational costs, and minimal human intervention. Mitigating Risks and Costs The introduction of directed energy weapons such as the Iron Beam addresses a crucial issue associated with traditional interceptor systems the elimination of interceptor debris. This innovative approach mitigates the risk of debris falling into protected areas, making each interception significantly more economical. The cost per shot for the iron beam is approximately $2,000, a stark contrast to the $100,000 to $150,000 associated with conventional interceptor systems. This economic efficiency further underscores the advantages of directed energy weaponry. In 2016, reports indicated that the power levels of the Iron Beam's laser were in the tens of kilowatts range, although specific details were not publicly disclosed. By 2020, estimations suggested that the Iron Beam could effectively engage targets up to 7 kilomiles away, destroying missiles, unmanned aerial vehicles, and mortar shells within roughly four seconds of contact, utilizing its twin high-energy fiber optic lasers. Looking ahead to 2023, there are expectations that energy levels may surpass 100 kilowatts, 
enabling the system to precisely focus its beam to the size of a coin at a distance of 10 calumelers. The development of the iron beam was rooted in five years of intensive research and development, primarily focused on solid-state lasers. Raphael, with primary funding from the Israeli Ministry of Defense and additional support from the United States, spearheaded the design of this groundbreaking system. An iron beam battery comprises elements such as an air defense radar, a command and control unit, and two high-energy laser systems. Originally intended to be mobile and operate independently, it was later transformed into a non-mobile system due to concerns related to weight and power availability. This adaptation facilitated integration with the Iron Dome system, reducing overall complexity. The initial plan called for two laser guns producing 100 to 150 kilowatts of power, marking a significant leap forward in laser weaponry technology. Iran's Nuclear Ambitions Amidst rising tensions between Israel and Iran over the latter's suspected nuclear ambitions, the global spotlight has turned to Iran's recent unveiling of the Fatah hypersonic missile. This two-stage solid-fueled creation is notable for its impressive range of up to 1,400 kilometers and remarkable terminal velocities ranging from Mach 13 to Mach 15. What distinguishes the Fata missile is its groundbreaking spherical engine warhead, utilizing solid fuel and featuring a movable nozzle. This innovative design not only enhances its speed, but also grants it the ability to execute precise maneuvers in multiple directions, ensuring effectiveness in diverse environmental conditions. The Fata hypersonic ballistic missile significantly surpasses the capabilities of traditional ballistic missiles, with exceptional velocity extending its range and dramatically reducing reaction time for potential targets. Its notable attribute lies in its remarkable maneuverability, operating within and above the Earth's atmosphere, adapting to various atmospheric conditions and altitudes. Iran asserts that this advanced missile can breach existing anti-missile defense systems, posing a substantial leap in missile technology and potentially challenging systems like the Iron Dome, designed for slower-moving threats with predictable trajectories.